Hey folks, JD here, and today we're going to be taking up the little holy stone again. Now, I've kept it until today to take her up, because we've got an extremely still day. It's a beautiful morning, there's no wind, there's no breeze. This is the perfect situation for this little copter to see whether or not it can perform better than what it did down by the river. I've got good feelings about this, it feels quite a nice day, it doesn't feel too humid, it, it, it's, it's quite fresh. Uh, and I think that having just this one particular pattern of uh, of pressure may actually help this fly a little bit better as the barometer will be reading correctly this time. So uh, yeah, let's just give it a try and let's see exactly how she does. So we're going to take this indoor copter outdoors and see exactly how she how, how she performs. All right, up we go. We've got this little guy in front of us. I'm just going to increase this speed to speed mode three. Oh, whoa! What are you doing, little guy? Come down to me. Whoa! Okay, this guy is not handling well straight off the bat at all. So let's put it back into speed mode one. I thought I'd put it into speed mode three just to answer a couple of questions you may have. Um, the reason I put it into speed mode three was that I could ensure that when we went up, we could just cut through without any problem whatsoever. But this guy had other options, other ideas. Let's put it into speed mode two. Now let's see if I can keep him up a little bit higher. And he's just increasing altitude. Look at him, increasing altitude all the time. This is definitely, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. I know I said it once, but this is definitely an indoor flyer. This is not a little outdoor flyer. Oh, look at him, I'm straight down on the throttle. Look at him, trying to bring him down, nothing. So let's bring him down in a big loop. There we go. That's a great way to bring copters down. It works with the larger ones as well. I had an Yishin a couple of months ago. I did this on quite a large one. Um, works on a no end of copters. Bring them down in a spiral. It's a very good way to do it. Right, LEDs are flashing. I've lost bind. Let's bind again. Oop. Oh, is that the battery straight away? No. That was very weird. I picked it up. Maybe the gyro is, um, maybe something sticking. Right, okay, let's try again. Let's try and see if we can at least get a little flight. Speed mode three. Oh, go on up. Up. Go on, around. Oh, darted about the place, little fella. Come on, back to me. Yeah, you can't say I haven't given this a good go, folks. Let's see if I can bring him down. Altitude. Come on, decrease. Oh, up a bit more. See, when he's stuck coming down, it's very difficult in an outdoor setting to get him to actually oh keep on keep on staying level. Let's put him into speed mode two. I think speed mode three is a little bit too erratic for what I'm trying to do, and that is just keep him. Oh no, this guy is not liking this one iota. Right, okay, let's land you here, little fella. Oh, not even responding to automatic landing, and then he just shuts off. Right. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of you asked me to do this flight outdoors, which is why I'm doing it in a different location. So, oh, there is, look how still it is today. If I turn around to some trees that you can see, look how still that is. And this is a great indoor guy, absolutely. If you're after a guy for the winter, I can't rave about this enough, honestly. I really can't rave about this enough. If you haven't seen my, in my indoor flight bit, go and check it out. It's not too spectacular, it's just a little indoor flight. But this guy proves to be doing very well. Now, as you can see how still today is, and still, he struggles to get through speed mode three. Nice little twirls. Problem is he's so light as well, that's the thing. Come on, down you come a little bit. He is so goddamn light. Come on then. Ooh, up I go a little bit more. I just want to get a bit of a flight out of him. Ooh, up again. Come on, little fella. Good. You're doing all right, little guy. You're doing all right. You're still not an outdoor copter, but you're doing all right. That was strange. Um, Bless him, he is struggling, he is struggling a lot. These motors, actually, believe it or not, these are actually pretty cool. They're not, not as hot as, say, uh, the QX65, 
But then again, it's a different class of copter, isn't it? Different class of copter. Right, lost bind again. So I'm gonna have to, now what I did last time is I just picked him up and put him down. He's still flashing, come on, you still trying to find? Ooh, up, up, speed mode two, up, up. Go, cut through it, my friend, cut through it. Cut through, cut through what, I don't know. Just go for it, go on. Go on! You can do it, buddy! Here we go! Go on, my friend! Oh, bless you! You are doing very well, though! And it's staying at an altitude, it's staying at one particular level. See? And it is staying at very, very stable at one particular level. Come on, little guy! Come on, little guy! You're doing excellent! Okay, turn you around! Oh, you're going to race ahead of me now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, bless you. The thing is, see, these little guys are pretty fun. But every single one that I've ever flown has been indoors. And I think the great thing about flying indoors is that you can really hone your skills in a small area. You can really give it, give it the best shot you possibly can. You haven't got to worry about anybody walking in on your flight or anybody uh, or any wind or anything like that unless you've got obviously either your air conditioning on or you've got your, your windows open. Um, but all in all, it's a great way to learn and it's... Uh, it's a way, is that the battery? No. It's a way that I, I still learn. I'm still learning every single flight. Ooh, I'm still learning every single flight. And it's still, it's still a big thing for me to be, uh, to be flying indoors. I try and do a couple of indoor flights uh, every couple of months. And it just helps me to hone my skills in a, a particular area and to actually feel the, the transmitter a bit and not have to worry about environmental factors or what's going on around me. Right friends, that's the battery. Wee! <laughs> Come on then fella, let's get you home. You've done very well. Ooh. You have done very well. Let's bring you down, it's not very easy to look up when you've got a bad neck. And down you come. Yeah, well we gave it another crack in a different location my friends, which is exactly what a lot of you asked me for. And that's exactly what I've done. And this guy, this guy is fun. It is. It's also infuriating, uh, like say when you're outside. But that's, that's my fault, because it's not an outdoor copter. This is an indoor copter. And even on a day like today, which is, I'm sorry, look at this day, it's beautiful. You just can't get anywhere with it. It's, and it, that's when you know it's an indoor, an indoor copter. Now these motors, they're stone cold. They literally are, that one's not, that one's quite warm. The rest, the other three, are stone cold. And, um, not to be confused with the wrestler. And, um, yeah, I think, all in all, this guy performed really well today. He's out of his comfort zone, he's in somewhere totally new. It is, it was a good job, it was a very good job indeed. But I'm going to be keeping this guy, as I say multiple times through this video, I'm going to be keeping this guy as an indoor copter, I think, for the winter. We're going to give him another try a few months down the line. There we are, folks. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying. <laughs>